Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be giving you five top tips to help you guys improve on ACC. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. So the first tip I want to give you guys is when you come into the setup menu, you go to electronics, you kind of have to figure out what TC settings are correct for you. Now bear in mind, too much TC makes the traction cutting too much and it definitely affects lap time. Too little TC makes the car a little bit unpredictable in the exit from corners and you can burn up your tires by just getting pure wheel spin. For me personally, when I use a Yam Lambo, um, 4-1 seems to be correct for me. I've seen other people using 3-3 free free, and I've seen people using 4-0. There's, there's a plethora of different TC setting maps you can use. And that's for most of the cars. Now, most cars have TC1 and TC2. But for me personally, when you after you've made your setup, I would definitely go through different traction control settings just check how much your TC cuts in and just make sure you're getting a, a nice balance between how much you're using and how much you're actually losing in terms of lap time because it's pretty important. And of course, this all ties in with trying to secure the rear tire wear, which is very, very important since patch 1.9. Another tip you guys might find useful kind of ties into the last point I was trying to make about the, finding the correct TC is um, you might want to come across to the control bindings and scroll down to you find set TC. This is where you can set a hotkey for your traction control. And what you want to do is, is you want to set a, a, a hotkey that is low enough. So when your TC cuts in, you can completely nullify that by going lower on the TC, which will stop it from flickering, which slows you down. And then set another hotkey for your original traction control. So if you always have your TC on four, like I do in the Lambo, I've got one hotkey set to four and then I've got one hotkey set to one. So on the exit of corners, when I'm straightening the car up and I want the TC to sort of disappear and stop bogging me down, I can flick it to one and therefore out of the corners, I'll be slightly faster than I would without it. But then when I approach a next set of corners, I can flick my TC back to four, which puts it back in its original state. So I don't have to worry about losing the back end because my TC is too low. It might take a little time for your brain to get round to it, but it definitely, definitely helps you on certain circuits. Like, for instance, when you're exiting the first corner at Monza, as soon as you straighten the car up, you want your TC down. Therefore, when you're accelerating, sometimes you might have a couple of wheels on the curb. You don't want that TC to be fluctuating and kicking in and slowing you down because it can ruin your run to the next chicane. Even at Paul Ricard, um, as you, the corner before the back straight, as you turn right and you go towards the left, as soon as you're able to straighten that car up, you really do want to turn your TC off because... You hit that little curb on the left hand side before you hit the back straight on Paul Ricard and it actually does engage your traction control ever so slightly but it does make you slightly slower onto the back straight. Another tip I've got for you guys is at the moment for me personally I've found that using sort of softer rear dampers tends to you know give you a little bit more rear grip tends not to make the traction kick in as much and therefore will be saving you a little bit of rear tire wear which I personally think is the most important so for me at the moment for the majority of the time especially as I've been driving the Lambo a lot of the time I'm using super soft um, rear dampers very very soft even when you come across a damper screen normally I've got my dampers pretty soft and then I will use sort of the rear ride height and the rear wing to you know go of how much aero balance I want and that's pretty much how I've been you know configuring my cars around that of course, I'll make the dampers. I'll try and make them as well as I can in terms of curb clearance and how it feels over bumps and stuff like that. But I have tended to be using a softer rear end, and that is just to stop the, the rear end from stepping out on the exit from corners, which of course is going to get you more tire wear, more tire grain in, and progressively slow you down in races. So that's another tip for you guys. Now, another top tip for you guys is with the way the setups work, you can now get away with running higher front ride heights. Normally what I would do before 1.9, I would look for every excuse possible to run my car on minimum because that's what I felt like gave me sort of the agility, the front end sharp turning in and that's how I like to drive. But I've noticed you can sort of get away with running a higher clips, more front ride height with these setups now because of how the tires work, the toes, the cambers and stuff like that. You can sort of still make the car pretty agile without having to, you know, run the front of the car like slam to the ground and of course, this is going to give you better curb clearance as well. So always useful to make sure that your car complies with curbs and stuff like that, especially with some of the tracks we go to where you kind of have to be 
you know, pretty aggressive on the curbs and with the latest 1.9 update, the, the cars tend to be a bit more forgiving over the curbs and stuff like that. So bear that in mind when you're making your new setups. And the last tip I'm going to give you guys is always after a race, come back to your tires and check your tire wear just to see how bad your tires have done. And this is a good indicator to whether you need to change your setup or indeed change your driving style in the future. Um, I only did about three or four laps. I tried to make it as hot as humanly possible to see if I could get some grain in um, within a few laps, but it didn't end up happening. But for you guys, after you do your races, a lot I know a lot of you guys will be doing LFM and stuff like that. You want to just quickly go back to the garage, find the tire set that you use for the race and just check over how much graining you've got. If you have light graining and stuff like that, it is not too bad. Then obviously you can definitely move forward with that setup. But if the if the grain is too bad and you, you know, you didn't make any obvious mistakes, then you might want to think about just making adjustments to your setup to make sure that your tires are a little bit better and a little bit um, less aggressive um, with the setup you've got. So um, anyway, guys, this is Cryptic TNG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.